One Phoenix Gaming here, and today is not going to be a gaming video, but today is going to be yet another of my fixes that I have for some people commonly having issues with their PC. So let's jump to the desktop. Now, okay, let's let it load. There we go. All right. So now the fix that I'm going to bring you is a fix that happens when let me pull up task manager for this fix, a, fi eh, a fix that happens um, to fix this issue right here this disk you see how it's kind of at 18 percent that's normal what I'm trying to fix for you is for those of you who commonly have it at a hundred percent and what that does basically limits your performance severely and it makes everything annoying and you know really slow so it takes a long time so let me fix this for you now the way to fix this you go to control panel if you have Windows 7 you can do it from the start menu um, you're gonna wanna go to this drop down menu and click all control panel items <clears throat> then you're going to want to go to system and here this will give you a direct idea of what you have under your hood you know so to speak so we're gonna take a look if well we can't blow it up uh, we're gonna take a look at the installed memory right here where my mouse is um, so I have 8 gigs of memory now basically what I'm going to do is allocate sort of a fictitious memory to help you with this problem and it worked for me so you're gonna wanna click advanced system settings then you're gonna wanna go to the advanced tab and I've already done this so I'm not going to click it again and then you're going to want to go to um, I believe it's uh, wait I've really lost myself here okay yes that's right so you're going to want to click under advanced then you're gonna wanna go to performance then you click the settings and then you go to advanced again and then right here this virtual memory so basically I'm sorry let me just close all of that and explain this so your RAM is what keeps your computer functioning and multitasking and that kind of thing that that's what enables you to run many things at once and you can only run a, a a certain amount that's why you have certain amounts of memory so you have 8 gigs which I have here you can have 16 gigs and so forth so what I'm going to do is basically borrow a little bit from the hard drive now um, it's going to take up some space but yet well you're not going to be able to see it it's only when it's needed so I have you know uh, 195 gigs here so it's not really gonna matter so you're gonna wanna do this now when you go to here and you click change like I just did uh, it's going to show you how much space you have available and it turns out I actually have about 208 gigs uh, usable now I set this to this is the equivalent of 8 gigs and this is the equivalent of 16 gigs basically what this is going to do is if there's ever a problem with your disk it's going to resort to the virtual memory like it says right here ignore that like it says right here and that's going to basically use space on your hard drive to function as memory so it'll make your computer a bit faster now if this doesn't work please let me know um, it did work for me and all you had to do when you change the values to however many gigs you want so let me show you how I got this number by the way um, yes there it is okay so 1 gig is 1024 megabytes so 1024 times 8 because you want 8 gig 8 gigs uh, that'll give you 8192 which I put here and then something simple that you can do just to make things easier so you don't have to calculate all these gigs and megabit, meg, uh, megabytes and stuff. I'm sorry, I'm stuttering today. Um, all you just need to do is multiply it by 2, and then that way you get that number. 
and then you click set and then you hit OK and everything should be a little bit faster now now it's not gonna directly affect your computers performance but it's only going to affect it when it's needed so thank you for watching and I hope this helped and if it doesn't leave a comment and I'll see what I can do thank you